Number one, a teacher asks their students whether they study for a quiz, then scores the quiz. The relative frequency table displays some of the information that they collected. What does the 86 represent? So we've got the 86 here. So this is people who passed the quiz and who studied. So it's where those two boxes meet. So let me get this here. Those so students who studied for their quiz and passed. Number two, the accessory choices of 143 people reported in the table create a relative frequency table that can be used to show the percentages of cell wearers who wear a watch or not, as well as the percentage of people without belts who wear a watch or not. So relative frequency means to turn all of this into percents. So we want percent instead of the raw data. So what we're going to need to do is figure out how many people were surveyed, which they told us it's 143. So we're going to take and divide these each by the total. So we're going to take 62 divided by 143, 32 divided by 143, 29 divided by 143, and 20 divided by 143. And then that's going to help us to write these as percents. So if you just take your calculator and do 62 divided by 143, that will give us um, 0.433, so as a percent, we just move the decimal two places, and we'll just round it to the nearest percent, so this would be 43% for that one. And so what I'm going to do is just um, color over this box here and write in the 43%. We have 43% for this one. Um, then do 32 divided by 143. And that one would give us 0.223. So again, we'll move the decimal place twice and we'll get 22% for that. So then I'm going to get rid of this 32. All right. And then that will be 22%. So then 29 divided by 143 gives us um, 0 0.202. Move the decimal place over twice and we get 20.2%. So for this one, we will have 20.2%. And so rounded to the nearest percent will just be 20%. And then 20 divided by 143 gives us 0 0.139. So we'll move this over um, two places and that gives us 13.9%. So we'll round that one up to 14. So let me get rid of this and then we'll put 14. So relative frequency, you just take the numbers that are there divided by the total and then write them out. Number three, scientists give um, two different treatments to people who have the flu and determine if their health improves. The results of the test are in this two-way table. Um, and then this one wants us to say what percent of people receiving treatment one had improved health. So this is asking us, the people need to be in treatment one. So we are only looking at these people for part A. So we're not looking at this, only in treatment one, whose health improved. And so improved health is here. So what percent of people receiving treatment one had improved health? So this is 23 out of, and now you want to total these up. So the total people in treatment one is 40, 23 plus 17. So 23 out of 40 people. So divide 23 by 40, and you'll get point. Um, 575, and so then as a percent, we'll just move the decimal place over two places, and that will be 57.5% of people in treatment one had improved health. 
So now we'll do a similar idea, but this time we're going to be doing it for the treatment to people. So now we're going to be looking um, in treatment to, so people receiving treatment to. Okay, so out of these people, how many of them had improved health? So that's 25. And then that total, so 25 people out of those had improved health, and 25 plus 35 is 60. So there's 60 total people there. Divide those. So 25 divided by 60 gives us 0 0.416 repeating. Move the decimal place over, and we'll get 41.6, which will round to 7. So 41.7% of those people receiving treatment who had improved health. Number four, a group of people are surveyed about whether they have any brothers or sisters or are an only child and whether they have any pets. Which value could go in the blank cell so that the percent of only children that have no pets is 37.5? Um, and so we could just look at these. So first of all, let's total these up. So the total of what's already in there is 82, so if we do 82, let me write this down, 82 plus 105 plus 141, okay, get uh, 328, okay, so right now from what's in the survey is 328, so now as we put these different numbers in here, that'll change what the percentage is. And so we want to know the percentage of only children that have no pets. So we're going to be looking at calculating this box's percent. So if we put 63 in here, then that would mean that my total number would be this 328 plus 63. So 328 plus 63 would mean that I have a total of 391 people. So then we would be doing 63 divided by 390. One, and that would give us um, 0.16 when we divide, or 16%. So that's not the 37.5 that we're looking for, so this is not going to work. So then the next one, if we put in 82 here, it's a different color. So if we put 82 in here, now our total is going to be the 328 plus 82. So that gives us 410 total. So then when we do 82 divided by 410, we get 0 0.2, which is 20%. So still not that 37.5 that we're looking for. So we'll try again. If we put in 175 here, so that would mean our total is going to be 328 plus 175. So our total would be 503. So then we're going to divide 175 by 503. And we would get 0 0.3479, which gives us. 34.8%, so not quite 37.5, so let's check this next one. So this final one here, 205, so if we do 205, then we're going to be doing 328 plus 205 for our total, so that would give us, that would give us a total of 533. If we had 205 here. So then we'll do 205 divided by 533 to check out that percent. And that would give us 0 0.3846, which then would be 38.46. So this would round the 4 up to a 5, and we would get 38.5%. Um, so out of these, none of them actually equal out to exactly 37.5%, um, but D is the closest at just 1% over that versus this one's about 3% below it. So I would choose um, 
D there. Number five, many adults are collected at random to respond to a survey about their favorite season and whether they have allergies or not. The two-way table summarizes the results from the survey. Which season is least popular in this group? So the, the least amount of people choose it. So if we add these together, we get 64 people for winter, 25 people for spring, 68 people for summer, and 68 people for fall. So least popular is spring. How many more people have allergies than people without allergies in this group? So you're going to want to add the um, allergies. So add all of these up. So 43 plus 12 plus 35 plus 33 gives us 123. Then the same for no allergies. So you're going to add all of these numbers up. And that's 102. And so how many more people have allergies? You can subtract. So 123 minus 102 gives us 21 more people have allergies than not. And then how many people were surveyed in the group? You can total up either of these. And to be honest, for me, I'll, I like to do both. So I would add these together and then add these to make sure I did it right. Um, so this would give me 225 when I add these. And then I'll just double check and add up all of these as well. So 64 plus 25 plus 68 plus 68 also gives me 225. So then that's good. That means everything I did was correct. Number six, a random sample of people are asked about their preferences regarding home decoration and their interest in fashion. Complete the two-way table so it has the characteristics listed. So we want 150 people to have responded to the survey. Again, this one doesn't have any total columns, but if it did, the total people would be out here. 70% of the respondents um, do not pay attention to fashion. Now, they're going to put um, this one's a percent, and this is of all the responders. So we're going to want to figure out 70% of 150 to figure out the number. So what you want to do is put this as a decimal. So 70 as a decimal is 0 0.70 if you want. And then we want to multiply that by 150. So 0 0.7 times 150 will give you 70% of 150. So this represents 105 people. And this, so this says, another way to say this is 105 people do not pay attention to fashion. So then we see that do not pay attention to fashion here. And this is the total of those. 105 people do not pay attention to fashion. Then 33% um, of responders prefer natural decorations. Who prefer natural de decorations? Do not pay attention. So they prefer neutral decorations and they do not pay attention to fashion. So that's going to be here, 33. Then 20%, or sorry, 20 of the responders who pay attention, so 20 of the people who pay attention to fashion, which is here, also prefer colorful decorations. So 20 of the people who pay attention to fashion for colorful decorations which are there. Then we can use these totals to help us come up with the rest. So for this box right here, we'd be doing 105 minus 33 to get this 72. So we did 105 the total minus 33, which we knew that gave us 72. Then we could do um, 72 plus 20 gives us 92 here if you wanted. Um, so you could figure out this one. You could also um, subtract these two. So 150 minus 105 gives us 45 for the total here. And then we'd have 25 because 45 minus 20 gives me 25 so that they all add up. And then again, if you want to check it out, I like to add those together and I would add these together to get 58 and then just 
see 92 plus 58 does equal 150. 45 plus 105 does equal 150. So then you kind of know everything. So 